Hello and welcome to the MCQ lecture series. In today's class, I'll talk about some of the important multiple choice questions with respect to economics of development and planning, which is the economics general paper for TYBA. So let's get started. The first question is according to the new World Bank country classification on the basis of income level, India is a dash country, whether India is a low income country, whether India is a lower middle income country, whether India is an upper middle income country or India is a higher income country. So if you look at the new World Bank country classification based upon income level, India is a lower middle income country and therefore option B is the correct answer to this particular question. Let us now move to the next question which is related to human capability approach and the question is who propounded the concept of human capabilities and the underlying options are Arthur Lewis, John Maynard Keynes, Amartya Sen, none of the above. So here the concept of human capabilities was propounded by none other than Amartya Sen and therefore option C is the correct answer to this particular question. I hope the question is clear. Let us now move to the next question which is in relation to the physical quality of life index and the question is framed in this fashion. The physical quality of life index or PQLI in 1979 was developed by or given by whom and the underlying options are A. Arthur Lewis, B. Meghnath Desai, C. M. D. Morris and D. None of the above. So here the physical quality of life index was given in the year 1979 by none other than M.D. Morris and therefore option C, M.D. Morris is the correct answer to this particular question. I hope the question is clear. Let us now move to the next question which is talking about the component of PQLI. So here the question is which of the following is a component of physical quality of life index as developed by M.D. Morris in 1979 and the underlying options are A. Infant mortality, B. Life expectancy, C. Basic literacy at 15, D all of the above. So here if you look at these indicators or these components per se they are all part of the physical quality of life index as developed by MD Morris in the year 1979 and therefore all of the above that means basic literacy at the age of 15, life expectancy as well as infant mortality are components of physical quality of life index. I hope the question is pretty much clear. Let us now move to the next one which is talking about what is the long form or full form of HDI long form or full form of HDI the first is human deprivation index the second is human development index the third is human de dissolution index and last is none of the above so here the correct answer very easy sort of question the correct answer is option B human development index or HDI I hope this question is clear let us now move to the next one which is talking about uh, which is not a component of HDI and the question is which of the following is not a component of HDI whether it is A poverty, B educational attainment, C longevity, D decent standard of living. So here which is not a component again a not sort of a question and here poverty is not a component of human development index the other three are that means educational attainment, longevity and decent standard of living are components of human development index and therefore not a component is poverty. So option A is the correct answer to this particular question. Now the next question is looking at the maximum minimum value of human development index. Let us look at the question. The question is what are the maximum and minimum values of HDI? Maximum and minimum values of HDI it is 1 0 and 1 1 and 0 either way around how do you look at it ok. So the maximum value is 1 the minimum value is 0. Second is the maximum value is infinity and the minimum value is 0 the ma uh, maximum value is 1 and the minimum value is minus 1 and none of the above. So here instead of taking it maximum and minimum let me take it like minimum and maximum so it will be easier for you to make sense with respect to the options which are given to us. So here minimum is 0 and maximum is 1 the second is minimum is 0 and maximum is infinity third is minus 1 is minimum and plus 1 is maximum and none of the above. So here now the values the minimum and maximum values are between 0 and 1. So therefore if you look at the human development index of any country a country if at all it is closer to 1 you call that country to be a developed country whether when it is towards 0 you call it to be a underdeveloped country. 
so i hope this question is clear let us now move to the next one which is looking at the current rank of india in terms of human development index and the question is the human development index rank or hdi rank for india is dash and the underlying options are a 129 b 130 c 131 and d 132 very factual question you have to remember this the answer is 131 option c is the correct answer the hdi rank for india is 131 I hope this is clear let us now move to the next question which is again a long form sort of a question and here they are asking what is the long form of pqli so let us look at the underlying options first is physical quantity of life index second is physical quality of life index third is physical quality of living index fourth is physical quantity of living index so here uh, the PQLI relates to physical quality of life index which is denoted by option B and hence option B is the correct answer that means the long form of PQLI is physical quality of life index. I hope this is clear. We have already talked about uh, physical quality of life index. Let us now move to the last question in this segment which is Dash in his book Development as Freedom explores the relationship between freedom and development and the ways in which freedom is both a basic constituent of development in itself and enabling key to other aspects who said this in his book development as freedom whether it was amartya sen whether it was keynes whether it was smith or md morris so here correct answer is amartya sen in his book development as freedom explored the relationship between freedom and development so therefore option a AK Sane is the correct answer to this particular question. I hope the question is clear. So this marks the end of your first chapter, which in a sense talked about the meaning of economic growth and development, the distinction between economic growth and development and the indicators of economic growth as well as development. In the next class, I'll start with the second chapter, which looks at the meaning of developed and developing countries per se. So thank you. Please stay tuned for more.